Hey guys, what's up? So last time we saw how to add a confirmation model like this one when a user tries to leave a route. So in this one, I want us to take it a step further and create a custom one and have one that looks like this. So notice when I try to go away from the page, you see that we get this custom model and it's, it's animated. So we can use this to confirm. So I believe that this looks a little bit better. And of course you can style it the way you want just so it can be better to the way you want it to be unlike this built-in one that is just as basic as enough. So if you want to create a custom one, just, just go ahead and do that. So if you go to the React Router documentation, so on the API section where you have Browser Router, you'll notice that the Browser Router is constructed with these things. So one of them will be the, the base name, the children, and the one we are looking for here is the get user confirmation method. So when you click on get user confirmation, you can see that it's a function that gets called and you can see that whenever it gets called, it calls window.confirm, okay? So this is what we need to tap into. So if you take a look, you can see that it will take a message and then the callback. So what we want to do is override this behavior now. So for us to do that, we need to go where we define the browser router. So if you go to our app.js, this is where we configure our routing. And here, you notice that we import browser router as router, meaning that here on the on the router is where we can now intercept the get user confirmation. So you can pass get user confirmation. So now we can set this one to basically what we want to do. So now we can have, let's see, a function. Of course, it's gonna give us the message and then the callback. So this is the API from the docs. So let me actually get these ones away. Okay, so once you get this, for us, we are going to return something custom. So we are gonna create our own function. So I'm gonna call it user, since it's gonna be a functional component, I'm gonna call it user leave confirmation and we'll create it. So once we call it, we are gonna give it this. So we're gonna give it the message, the callback, so the message, and then the callback. Okay, so we are going to be using a, we are going to be using something here from semantic called confirm. So this is the one. So if you look at the API at the props, you can see that it's going to need an open prop. So for us to have that open prop, we are going to come and also pass in those. So here I'm going to have something like confirm open and also set confirm open. So I'm going to first define them in state so that we can Pass them, so const confirm open, set confirm open. This is gonna be equal to use state. So by default, it's gonna be true. So that was the default behavior when this gets called, it's gonna be true. So let's make sure we're importing it. So now let's go ahead and create this component. So let's go to components here and then create a new file, then call it to JS. So in this one, let's define our, our function. So we called it user confirmation. So I'm gonna come over here and have it. So it takes in the message. And since it's we are calling it just as a straight function, we are not destructuring this. So it's a message, and then let's see the message, the callback, and then this. So let me bring them here like this. So the message, the callback, and then this. So const user confirmation is gonna be equal to this, and then it's gonna be this, and then in here we are going to be defining our custom UI. So first thing I'm gonna do is define where it's going to go. So I can create a container here. I'm gonna call it container. So it's gonna be equal to React. So we are going to need to actually use React DOM because we want to be able to be able to create elements from scratch. So here, let's import React DOM. So import React DOM from React. Uh, it should be DOM. So here we can say React DOM. Then we can call create, create element. So the element is gonna be a div. Okay, so once we have that, now we can add details to this element. So I'm gonna set as an attribute. So we can do container set attribute. So this one is gonna be an attribute we define just so we can uniquely know what this container element will be doing and differentiate it from all the other UI components. 
so it can be anything so you can call it like custom uh, custom confirm view okay so once you do that you can set it to empty so i'm gonna set up some helper functions that will enable us to work with the, the confirming and then the navigation so i'm gonna set up one it's gonna be called handle confirm so this will be taking in a callback state so callback state and then what it's gonna be doing is it's it's gonna be unmounting this so we say react dom and mount component at node so the node is going to be the container yeah so once we do that we need to call the callback that we get from the default api and we give it the this callback state okay so when that happens we want to dismiss the model so since we are going to be using a custom one we can now call this function called set confirm open and then set it to false so this will now come over here and change the state here in that it's going to be dismissed from the ui okay so let's also set up another one to handle the cancel so let's do this handle cancel so the handle cancel we'll do the same thing we unmount the component and then we call the callback so at this point the cancel we don't want to give it anything so we can just call the callback and send it nothing so the reason why i send it nothing is if you actually look at callback like i'm gonna show you let me actually console log it you can see that whenever you give it a value it's going to take it as the user actually wants to go so when you don't give it it's not going to do anything so let me add it here so we can later take a look at it if we will okay so this should actually do so now we can set document dot body then we want to append child append child then we add our container okay so this is all happening and good but we are not defining our custom model so let's use react done dot render so we are going to be rendering and this confirm here so let me come over here so let's see so we want the one with the header just so we can have a better control so I'm going to copy this confirm and come over here and put it there. And then we want to be, when you call render, you have to give it where you want to render it. So we can put a comma and we'll be rendering it in the container. Okay, so let's take a look at what's happening. So the open will be this confirm open, not using the state here. So the header for now will leave this. So when it comes to the cancel, we will be calling handle cancel. So let's remove this because this is a function component. Okay, so let's import confirm. We need to import it from semantic. And this should be inside. So make sure you have it here. So let's see what's happening. Do we, are we importing it correctly? Yeah, we are. Let's see. Oh, we need to import React. So let's import react so now when it comes to here we need to export it so that we can import it the other side so export default user confirmation okay so let's see what's happening here and expected what okay so let me import it separately so import react from react Okay, so once you come here, let's make sure we are importing. So import this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test it out and see what we have. So if you come back to the application and go to create, you see everything is fine. But when we click go, nothing's happening. Oh, so we get set attribute is not a function. So if I see what we are not doing correctly. So that's because this should be document document create element okay so let's see uh, how we go so if you come here and try to go so we also have another issue default the trender is not a function so let's see what's happening there too and that's because we are importing react dom from react but it should be from react dom okay so fixing bugs here and there so let's retry again so if we try to go away 
you can see that we get a issue and this so when you click cancel that happens when we click ok you see it works okay so meaning that we are yet to get there so let's keep retrying here so if now if i click off you see we get this as a custom header and then this is a generic message for Aisha. So for us to use the message, the real message here, we need to get it. So meaning that we can come over here and then here we can pass a prop for content. So content, and then the content can be the message. Okay, so once it comes and then do this, uh, let's take a look at this, try to go. See the message is the one that we define in our initial prompt component which in this case is this one, is this one, okay? Meaning that now it's hooked up, we can actually cancel, leave and go, and everything, and everything is good. But if you ever want to put this model like on top, because this may not look great for you, you can come here, and then you add another prop of centered equals false, and that will move it on top. So if we retry, let's retry the same thing, try to go, you can see it's on top. So now you might want to send a custom header. So you notice that the, the, the initial API allows you to su supply only a message, okay? So what you could do, you could actually tweak it. So, you know, for us to create these strings, we can use, we can create like an object, but then pass it, pass it into a string using json dot, dot stringify. So now we can do stringify. So in here, we can pass a json object. So that can have like a header, so header something like we can say confirm and then we can pass content so here you can pass like content so content can be now the message okay so let me do this so what this will do is confirm is turn this into a string still so when we come to the the real component now we can come and instead of doing this we can now come over here and do something like const uh, so we said we want the we are sending the header and the content so we can do header and then content so these are gonna be coming from the message so since whatever we send here at the message will be sent to, to this directory so now we can actually structure them but since we sent it as a string and we want to access them we can now use json dot pass so we pass the message Okay, so now in our header, we can use our custom header. And then in our message, we can use the content instead. Okay, so let's see how that one looks. So if we come back, try to do stuff, try to go, you see we get our custom header. So good. So one thing you notice that in the initial one, I showed you how to add a custom animation here and to this. So for you to have that, Instead of having this here, we are going to be rendering something called a transitionable portal. So that allows you to easily add transitions to the model. So here we can have it. It's called transitionable portal. Yeah, so just like that, then we put the content inside. So let's have it here. So we are going to need to have two different things, two different probes. So one is going to be the open one. So when it opens up, so the open will be the confirm open since we are working with that. And then we have to pass on close. So what happens when the user closes? So when they close, we want to handle cancel. Okay, so let's take a look. So if we come here, enter stuff, do this, and try to go away, see how it admits in. Okay, so I think that's pretty cool. So this is gonna do it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.